morning everybody hope everybody's well i just want to introduce myself really quickly i'm liz and i run the art room um, i'm not very good at being this side of the camera so in a minute i'm going to switch around so you can see what i'm going to be doing rather than looking at me so what you're going to need is you're going to need some watercolor paints you're going to need a little pot of water you're going to need some watercolor paper any size is fine a little black sorry a little brush and a black fine liner and that's all you're going to need and then we're going to get started so look forward to seeing you in a second Okay, so we're going to start by painting some little buzzy bees. We're going to do like a summer meadow picture this morning. It's so lovely outside and it's so nice to see some, some bumblebees floating around. So I thought we'd do some nice buzzy bees. They're really, really easy and simple to do. They take a couple of stages. So what we're going to do first of all is going to mix up some yellow, some nice deep yellow. You can mix it onto your palette if you want to, otherwise you can go straight from the palette. So I'm just going to draw little oval shapes yellow little oval shapes. I'm going to try and do about five of them, I think, just sort of floating at the top, some slightly bigger than others, not too big. Two, three. Four, and then the last one. I might make her the queen bee, actually. I might do something special with her in a minute. Okay. So we're just in the basic sort of buzzy bee shape at the moment. Okay, we need to let that dry, so because we're going to be putting some pen and ink on top of that. So in the meantime, while we're waiting for that bit to dry, we're going to be doing some flowers along the bottom, along here. So these are really, really simple flowers. They're basically just splodges of coloured paint. You can choose whatever colour you want to do. That's not a problem. Um, and we're just going to do some sort of like, just real splodges, basically. And it just it does turn out well. It might not look at it to start off with, but it does turn out quite nicely. So I'm just going to paint some sort of blobby um, shapes. And I might try and mix a couple of colours together, so maybe a bit of purple into that as well. Just by dabbing it on, you can see the colours bleed together. So there's no defined borders or anything else, we're just doing literally just sort of funny sort of shapes really. Might put a bit of orange into that one, see what happens. It's a good chance to mix colours up together and see what colours they make. Another orangey one here. Might do more of a tulip shape, so it's like a U shape. This one, with maybe a bit of red at the bottom, a bit pink. So I would try and do about five or six different flowers along the bottom there. As you can see, it's really, really quick to do. There we go. Okay, I'm going to let that dry for a minute and then I'm going to show you what the next stage is. They're still a little bit wet, but I'm just going to let them be for the moment. I'm just going to draw a different type of flower now. I'm going to go for sort of like a blue like cornflower um, type flower here. So these are just literally like spirals. Can you see what I did with my brush? They're tiny little spirals. Just little circles. You can make them look spirally if you want to. Right, they're much smaller than the other flowers. I can add a little bit of purple to them as well. Just a couple of drops of purple mixed into them and you'll see that they'll start bleeding together. They look quite cool when they're like that. There we go. Okay, I'm gonna rinse my brush. I'm gonna put it back into my yellow that I use for the bees. And I'm going to start painting some little daisies. Now you won't recognise them as daisies as I start off, but you will when I get the pen out on them later on. So you're just going to do tiny little oval shapes, little spots like that, just dotted around. Now daisies, when they grow, they kind of grow together in, in clumps. You have quite a few of them all clustered together. You might want to do a few of them. Maybe some taller ones higher up and some lower down as well. Okay, I think that's it. Okay, now my flowers at the bottom are pretty much dry. I think that one, that red one's slightly damp still, but I'm gonna start doing some stalks now. So you'll need your tiny brush again. This time you're gonna go for a very, very um, light green. I'm, I'm gonna use my palette to try and wash it down a bit more. So rather than going straight from here, I'm gonna try and mix on my white palette a bit to go quite watery, adding a bit more water. Okay, you want to give her quite a pale green. 
and very, very carefully, you're going to draw little stalks coming from each of your flower all the way down so they go off the edge of the page. You're going to very lightly press on your paper, so very lightly, you're, ve you're touching it, you're hardly touching the paper at all. Little sketchy lines from each of the flowers, even those little daisies and those cornflowers that you did as well. All the way off to the edge of the page. Mine are getting a little bit thick, some of them. You'll find some of them will overlap a bit, that's okay. They look given a sort of crisscross together. There we go. And some are sort of going at an angle as well. You don't want them all in a straight line, you want them to go diagonally. Because not many flowers grow straight up, most of them grow at a slight angle. I think, there's, I think I've got them all. Have I got them all? Yeah, I think. Oh, one more daisy. I'm going to get behind that flower there. Oh, and this one here. Okay. Okay, and I'm going to draw some leaves as well. So I'm going to make that colour a little bit greener, that green that I had just now on my palette to do some leaves. I'm going to make them quite flicky. So I'm going to go quite sort of like um, flicky with my paintbrush. Like you can sort of see, doesn't matter if they go curly or straight. It's fine. You're just going to go a bit random really with your leaves. Make some go a bit higher up as well. Again, not all leaves grow straight up or grasses grow straight up. They kind of grow at an angle as well. I just want to play around with the leaves a bit. Okay, I'm done with my painting now. I'm now going to get my black fine liner out and I'm going to put some details on. So I'm going to turn these little yellow blobs into some um, bumblebees. So make sure your paint is completely dry before you put the fine liner on, otherwise you'll ruin your pen. Right, so as we all know, buzzy bees have stripes to them. So I'm going to put some little stripes on this guy here. Actually, I might make her the queen bee, so I might make her a little bit more special. And some little wings. And little eyeliner. I like it when they're just sort of with their eyes closed. It's like they're, they're smelling the flowers they go over. And six little legs, tiny little legs. One, two, three, four, five, six. And the same with this one too. All of the buzzy bees. Black stripes on them, little wings, little eyes. I forgot this one's legs. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. <clears throat> one, two, three, four, five, six. That one's still a little bit damp, actually. I'm going to leave that one for a second. Okay, so our bees are done. Now, our flowers. Okay, so we're going to just go along the edge of our big flowers, first of all. You just have to sort of just suggest where the edge of the flower is. You don't have to go around the whole thing, just maybe around the bottom bit. Like this, you might want to draw in a couple of lines like that to make it look like the beginning of the petal. And again with this one. I'm not sort of going over all the lines I've made, just a few of them. Just to suggest where the edge of the flower is. Might do some wiggly ones in this one. I quite like it when you have the little um, lines hanging down at the bottom of the flowers because it looks like where they used to be a bud. Like that. Okay, and then inside your little cornflowers, these are quite fun ones to do because you just do sort of swirly lines with your pen. Again, make sure your pen, your paint is completely dry before you do it. Sort of like round and round, spiralling.
There you go. And the daisies, at the moment they look like little yellow blobs, but we're gonna make them into daisies. So the way we do that is we do little black pet um, little petals just around the base of them like that. You might want to take the flowers all the way around the top. I quite like them just at the base though. Sorry, the petals, I meant not the flowers. <laughs> Each one. I think, is he dry? Yeah, that one's dry now. So just be careful you don't smudge any of the work you've just done, especially if you've got, um, if you're using um, ink, because it can smudge. And then six little legs. Okay, I'm gonna add a, a few finishing touches in a moment. Okay, as I said just now, I might make this bee here, the queen bee. So I've got a gold glitter pen, actually. You might have a gold pen at home, um, or you can use a bit of gold paint if you've got that. And I'm going to add a little crown to her head. Just makes it a little bit different. There we go, the queen bee. All done. I forgot to add something. Okay, so we're going to go back to our paint now. I want you to add tiny little dots as if they're little bits of pollen which are coming off the flowers. So with your little brush, you're going to put a little bit of a little bit of paint on the end of your brush, not much at all, a tiny amount, and just do tiny little pinprick dots just scattered over the painting in between the flowers and the bees. Tiny little ones, you can barely see them, they're so tiny, you're just literally tapping the paper with the tip of your brush. That's quite a steady hand, actually. I've done some red ones there. I might do some pink ones now. So tiny little drops of paint. It's like little bits of pollen almost coming off the flowers. Because bees love pollen. You might find it easier to do with a, um, a coloured fine liner. If you have coloured fine liners or very, very fine felt tip pens, you might find this a bit easier than using paintbrush. Whatever you've got at home, whatever you find easier. Oops. Okay. That's mine done, I think. <laughs> 